TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are up 49. You get the Nasdaq up 10. S&Ps are up five and a half. And what we have out here, folks, is this. Uh, what do we do yesterday if we review the cash S&P? What you're going to see is this. We came off the high. You came off the high with volume. We had the wide price spread. The uh, cash S&P went from 2076 down to uh, 2044. Uh, what you're seeing out here this morning is you're getting a small bounce. You can expect that a flat market, slightly higher market with lighter volume. So your cash S&P, folks, is back inside its lower range. What does that set up? That sets up, number one, a run down to the 1973 area, which is the swing low that was established on Dece in December. That's the, the shorter time frame. Larger time frame, which is wide open for the test, is the 1874 to 1820 area on the S&P. Now, that's a monster move. There's no doubt about that. But I want to show you something. I'm going to show you the XLE. The XLE, folks, okay, uh, bottom line is trading at a price point below the October 15th swing low. So the XLE had come off its high of 94. The October 15th high volume swing low was 77. You got the bounce up to 88. When we came back, we broke that swing low and you broke it with some real volume. The XLE right now is at 75.23. 77.51 is the October 15th swing low. Now, the reason I bring this up, that's a huge heads up in the context that, number one, your probability of going down there on the S&P is higher because you get the large oil and gas, some of the largest stocks in the world are down there. So we'll see how that whole baby shakes out. That is inside the S&P. What we also had out here yesterday is this is that the NDX 100 came back inside its lower range. The, if we take a look at the three Qs, the three Qs are trading at 105.84. Uh, 106.23 has put them back inside the lower range. What does that set up? That sets up a test of the 99.96. That's in the shorter time frame. Larger time frame, this is a monster hit also. You have that October 15th swing low that's hanging out there. That October 15th swing low is hanging out there uh, at 90. That's 15 bucks. That's almost 12% down. So that baby is hanging out there and hanging out there in a big way. Now, gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold, bottom line, is testing the lows of yesterday. Now, what we finally have out here with gold is this. The low of yesterday is uh, 1153. We've hit 1153. In fact, we're hitting 1153 right now on this 10 a.m. Up news update. We're hitting it with lighter volume. That's what you're going to need for gold to get out of here. Uh, what I do expect you're probably going to have is, uh, what well, is game is 1132. Uh, 1132 can get hit. And if you are a gold bull, you'd actually like to see it get hit. I'd like to actually see it get hit today. Why? You want wide price spread, fast price destruction without volume. Then you get a rejection of lower price. We'll see if that shakes out. But that's how that's set up. Finally, the bonds. Bond market out here, folks, what you have is this. It looks to me like the bond market in general has change trend in a very large way. Uh, the 10 year right now is flat. We've done 563,000 contracts out here. You're going into the downdraft that had 1.7 um, million contracts. So bonds look like they, they, are, they are an ABC structure on the way down and they have uh, lower prices coming at them. What To wrap it up, you get a dead cat bounce out here. I expect you're going to see lighter volume out here. And what that is setting up, you're building cars to get lower price in this market. This 10 a.m. update is brought to you by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, visit everbank.com slash TFNN. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look forward to speaking there right here tomorrow morning.